Hey guys, it's Christy, and today's video is a Dollar Tree haul. You probably haven't seen one of these on my channel before. Um, I go to Dollar Tree occasionally. It's not as much as I used to because um, where I used to work, well, I still work for the same company, but we used to be located literally just down the street from a Dollar Tree, and then we moved into a complex that was <laughs> literally in the same shopping center as Ulta and now Sephora. <laughs> so my shopping tendencies went from Dollar Tree to Ulta. Much of a higher priced shopping adventure. Um, but I did go to Dollar Tree because I got inspired by my friend Syria over at Dream It DIY. So I thought I would go over the things that I did get. I spent just over $20, so not much. Um, and I got like three bags of things. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is the heaviest thing sitting in my lap. They are, there are four plates here, but I've got some um, transferable adhesive, I don't wanna call them stickers, like vinyl things that you can put onto the plates. Um, with that said, that if you go to wash them, they have to be hand washed. You can't wash them in the washer, dish, dish, dishwasher. Say washer for washer and dryer, dishwasher for how you wash your dishes, at least here. So the first thing I got are these sturdy plates. They're, I mean, they feel sturdy. They don't feel cheaply made, but they are just kind of a plain color because I do plan on putting the adhesive stickers on them. There are four of these, so I've got $4, you know, a dollar each. And I'll go ahead and pull out the stickers so you can see what I'm talking about. So I bought several different types of stickers in order to um, utilize them for different projects. But these are the stickers I'm talking about that I got to put directly onto the plates. I bought two of them. And then I also got these, which there's like happy or day surprise and just different things. And then I bought all three of these. And um, the black ones, these are gonna be for like wine bottles and mason jars. And then these are for some um, wooden art projects that I purchased and maybe possibly Disney ears. We'll see, I'm not sure yet. So the next thing I got that is also sticker oriented is this um, Little Mermaid theme one. It says you are Murmurizing, I think it's what that says. Something like that. Um, and then, uh, for just for some fun stuff for a friend of mine, this little um, Mulan and Ariel paint thing. So they come blank like this, and then you can paint them, and they just provide the four colors. And they even provide a string. I think it's kind of like an ornament, maybe. So maybe my friend and her daughter can paint these and hang them on the Christmas tree next year. I got three puzzles. So this one's a 500 count puzzle and then a 500 count puzzle. And the Little Mermaid one is only a 48 count, but it's still super uh, cute and I thought it'd be fun for my friend and her daughter. Um, not all of these are for my friend and her daughter. Uh, some of them are, some of them are. The next thing I got was this little tote bag, Stay Magical, and it's got a little thin on it, also for my friend. And the, I, I could try my hand at some wired ears, so I got this, it's purple. Um, I wasn't sure what theme I wanted to go with or anything, so I just kind of grabbed one of them to see if I could do some wired ears. I've never tried wired ears, but doesn't hurt to try, and that was only a dollar. So the next thing I got is clothespins. You can never have too many clothespins. We use these to cover snack bags, to close up snack bags. I use these to hold things down, just different things. I actually like these clothespins when I go camping for many different things, like hang up the twinkle lights, or hang up at a tarp to keep us separate from the other camping site because they are so close together. Just uh, hang up towels to dry after showers or bathing suits after swimming, just different things. So the next two things I got were these little containers. I plan to paint them. This one's a crown, this one's a castle, obviously Disney themed, um, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I may give them to somebody. I haven't decided yet, Maybe I'll use them for my makeup brushes. 
still angry, huh? I don't know yet. And the last two things, um, you know, I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with this, but there's 12 of them, and they're foam cauldrons. And that they could be very much Harry Potter themed or something, I don't know. And then I got this dog, because it kind of, I know it's not a um, schnauzer, but it reminded me of my dog, so I got it, and I will probably paint it and put it on something, I'm not sure yet. But I got all these things that I can utilize or hold on to and use at a later date, which I've done a lot. Like I had a pumpkin for like three years, just kind of hanging out. And then I finally used it. it. Obviously it wasn't a real pumpkin, it was a styrofoam pumpkin, <laughs> but it's not a bad idea. Uh, so my camera died. <laughs> uh, so what I was saying is for one, sorry I'm monotone today. I'm just really tired and it's first thing in the morning. so. Monotone's kind of like real right now for whatever reason, apologies. Um, so my Dollar Tree trip, I think went pretty well. Um, there were some, I was kind of hoping for more actually, uh, but that's okay. I think it's just the luck of the draw of when you go, when they get a shipment in and things like that. Um, but I am kind of excited to utilize these things and see what I can make with them. And really that's it. Uh, if you would like me to like do a vlog in the Dollar Tree at some point, it's not really my wheelhouse um, going to the Dollar Tree that much, but I would be happy to um, do like a vlog in there or something like that if you're interested. Just let me know if you're interested. Um, also, if you would like to see what these items turn into obviously the mermaid ones i'm sending to my friend <laughs> um but if you would like to see what these items turn into just let me know in the comments down below and i'll work on that and also if i do make some stuff it will probably also be posted on instagram so be sure to check out my instagram right here other than that be sure to check out my live streams every thursday and friday night thursday nights is magical makeup with christy on this channel at 8 p.m Eastern Standard Time, and on Friday nights we have Spilling the Disney Tea Castle Chat, all things Disney, and it's hosted on uh, five different people's channels throughout the month, and um, the regular schedule is Mondays, or Mondays, the first Friday of the month is Cat's channel, the second Friday of the month is Allie's channel, and the third Friday of the month is my channel, so I'll come here every third Friday, please check out the other Fridays, of course, and then the fourth and, and sometimes fifth Friday of the month, depending on how the month plays out, like how start of the month is and how the end of the month is, um, it rotates between Alina and Sammy. Occasionally, we will switch up our days if some of us have prior obligations, but other than that, it is pretty set in stone with me every third Friday of the month. So if you guys have any questions about that at all, you can always message me or leave me a comment down below or direct message me on Instagram. Again, my Instagram handle is here. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Come back and hang out with me. All right guys, have a good one. Bye now.